Hello everyone, I am Anirudh Bhatt, a third year medical student at Goa Medical College and I thank you so much for being here. Do you watch videos from a video source like Maro or YouTube, take down notes but forget the content in a week's time? Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. If that is the case, it is a simple four step process to not fall for this particular trend. Number one is to revise your notes time and again. Second is to solve MCQs from a question bank. Third is to answer the own questions that you'll be framing for yourself and I'll be teaching you how to do this. Fourth is to use the Pareto principle, the 80-20 formula, a simple formula to revise your first year and second year subjects along with your third subjects. And I'll be teaching you how to do this in this particular video. Now let me explain to you this using a small personal story which I'm pretty sure every third year medical student at this moment can relate to. So we've just finished our second year examination, our university examinations, and we're enthusiastic about a relaxed third year. Yes, yes, yeah! But very soon, the government decides that they'll be implementing next for us, for us third year medical students or the 2017 batch. It came as an absolute shocker to me I did not know whether to make head or tail about it. So what I did was I began contemplating. How do I revise the first year and second year subjects which I am pretty sure I have just studied just to get a good grade in the university level. How to approach it from a next or a neat PG perspective and that's where the video resources like Maru came into my mind. I am a very visual person. I remember things when I see images. Even the fond memories of my childhood, I remember only because I have that particular snapshot of that particular moment in my brain. And if you all know the NCRT biology that we should refer to in our 11th and 12th standard, the textbooks, we probably don't remember each and every single word that we studied but we definitely remember each and every single image that we had to remember so that we can answer those image based questions in our NEET UG examination. Just like every physics problem has a relevant concept behind it, a methodology of getting the right answer, every single video platform like Mero or YouTube or any other source out there has a particular methodology of how we can get the maximum from these particular video sources and I'll be sharing my exact workflow of how I use Marrow effectively as a third year medical student. At this juncture, I'd like to ask you two quick questions. Have you studied your first year subjects properly? Have you imbibed your second year subjects concepts properly? This is not of course a personal attack. Trust me, even I have forgotten at least 80% of what I studied in my first year and second year and I'm pretty sure almost every one of us in a third year is in this particular same situation. No, God! What I recommend at this particular juncture is if your first year and your second year concepts are not that too strong, is a little bit too shaky, I recommend an 80-20 distribution of your particular time that you have at hand. 80% of the time, let us focus on our third year subjects, the things that we can control right now is our third year subjects and if we study our third year subjects right now it will be effective for us in our next or neat pg preparation because we'll be completing these third year subjects of ent ophthalmology and a big subject like psm in third year itself so that we can give much more time to our final year subjects when it comes to our final year course duration 20 percent of the time can be spent on revisiting or revising the first year and the second year subjects that we still need a refresh in the memory of. So say supposing on the weekend, on Saturday or Sunday, you can stop your third year subject preparation and move on to your first year and your second year. At this juncture, I'd recommend if you're start of time, of course, to go back to anatomy, physiology, pathology, pharmacology, a little bit of microbiology and revise those concepts. I absolutely have no antagonism towards biochemistry and forensic medicine, but I feel that anatomy, physiology, pathology and pharmacology forms the base of the final year subjects and therefore if we were to go back and revise these concepts, it would be much much more better. 
all the professors and especially the third year professors in Mero are excellent and I would highly recommend that you buy Mero Plan C as a part of your preparation. After a couple of months when you're done revising your first year and your second year subjects, I would recommend a system based approach to approaching your final year subjects. And this is exactly the workflow I'll be explaining over here. So alongside with my third year subjects, what I do is in order to revise and comprehend and completely weave a conceptual understanding of each and every organ system in our particular body, what I do is I will go back to anatomy and physiology of, for example, GIT. I revise those concepts, the anatomy, the physiology, the histology of the GIT system, then move on to Dr. Rakesh Nye's lectures from Mero, where he gives the proper pathology, microbiology, pharmacology correlation of the entire concepts as well as a few updates that come in your medicine and he perfectly makes a lecture that you can assimilate much much more better. So after I am done with studying GIT from Dr. Rakesh Nair, I would go and study GIT surgery from Dr. Rohan Khandelubad. This is where the vertical integration of the subject matters over here. I am going from anatomy, physiology, to studying the pathology of the GIT system to the medicine aspect as well as the surgical aspects of the GIT system. So in this way, I'll be adhering to the next pattern which is going to be questions based on a clinical scenario. So I have a perfect framework of how to study a system based approach. Because if you see ENT, Ophthalmology and PSM, it is you cannot study it from a system based perspective because ENT and Ophthalmology is to do with one particular system and your other systems like your GIT or your renal system have to be studied in this particular format going from your first year till your final year subject. One small tip that I like to give over here at this moment is not to pressurize yourself too much when you're studying these final year subjects. You're studying your final year subjects at this moment because you love medicine, because you love surgery, just because you're a very curious person and you want to know the subject from a deep conceptual standpoint and not for the sake of any examination and not for the sake of by hearting those particular concepts. The next thing over here and this is a very common mistake that we all do and this is the critical point of this particular video. So if you enjoyed this particular video up till this far do hit the like button consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and let us move ahead with this common mistake that each and every single one of us makes. What we do is that after studying a particular topic, we immediately move on to the question bank. Now you tell me, you just studied GIT system in the entire day. If you study the question bank in the same day, it is highly likely that we get a lot of false positives. And let me tell you what this is. Because you've just been through the topic, your brain already has the information right now in its temporary memory and you'll be answering those questions correctly and getting a lot of false positives because that information is temporary, it is fresh in your mind. But I'm pretty sure if you are to revisit the topic two to three days after you've done the topic, you might have forgotten a lot of essential points, at least 50% of the particular material. How do we break this forgetful and revision cycle? This is the trick for it. Chor, chor, se bol ke logo ko what I would recommend over here, and this is very counterproductive, but it has worked like a charm for me to revise my ENT and my ophthalmology, is that supposing on Monday, I'm doing all the retinal pathologies, I will take a three to four day break, and maybe on Thursday or Friday, I will go back to the QBank module that Mero provides with regards to these particular retinal pathologies, and I would go and solve each and every single question from that particular module. And if you know how this question bank is structured, they not only tell you your, the right answer, but they also tell you a proper explanation and the source of the information where they have constructed this question from. And if you've seen the topper's videos of Mero, they tell you that the explanation below each and every single question is of paramount importance. One MCQ that you solve on Mero is equivalent to four MCQs that goes to your brain simply because of the extra information provided in the explanation. So this serves as a very good tool for active recall and as a revision technique that you can implement 
three to four days after you go and read a particular topic. Now let me recap the entire information that I have told you and this is the take home message. Apply the Pareto principle to go through your third year as well as your second year and first year subjects. 80% of the times we should be devoted to your third year subjects. 20% of the time for your first year and your second year subjects. After that, take a system based approach to learning your fun year subjects. Go through your anatomy, physiology, pathology, medicine and surgery through a system based approach like how I have described above. And the last thing of course is the method of active recall where you are solving the question bank 3 to 4 days after you have done that particular topic. So you can come back to the particular topic and challenge your brains from a question standpoint and actively recall the information and take that temporary memory and push it towards long term memory and retention. So that's it guys for this particular video. Do like the video if you have enjoyed it and it really motivates if you like the video and I see your nice comments in the comment section below because it motivates me to pump this content out for you so that it motivates each and every single person in the medical field and we can take the healthcare of India from good to best. You can also check out the review of the entire Marrow app over here in the info calls or I'll link it down to you in the description and I've also done a comprehensive review of the Marrow notes which you can find down in the description and you're free to message me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram and come out with your doubts and I will be sure to address each and every single one of them. I thank you everyone for watching and I will see you in the next one and as always stay safe, much love to everyone.